All right, so if you're in sales or you're an entrepreneur, you are probably worrying all the time. So for the first five years or really four years of my, my life as in sales and as an entrepreneur, I worried all the time. I'm talking about all day, all night, no sleep. I was always worrying, can I pay my bills? Where's the next client coming from? Over and over. Now, I don't worry for more than 30 seconds. And today, I'm gonna share with you how. So the first thing is, you need to ask yourself, what is the absolute worst that can happen? What is the absolute worst that can happen? See, when I first started getting into the world of speaking, um, I was always like, oh my God, I'm so scared. Um, I had all of this fear built up in me. And when I would ask myself what was the worst that can happen, I would say, oh my God, the audience is gonna hate it. You know, they're gonna throw tomatoes at me. Uh, they're, they're gonna start writing bad reviews online. They're gonna come to my house. They're gonna burn down my house. They're gonna come in, they're gonna shoot me, and I'm gonna die. Obviously, this is not the case. This is not the case, but in my mind, this is what was going on through my mind because I never really figured out what was the worst that can happen. And so when I thought about it and I wrote it down, what is absolutely the worst thing that can happen? It was maybe somebody in the audience didn't like it. Highly doubt they would ever write a bad review. Most people in the audience actually want you to do well. And they understand that Public speaking is the biggest fear uh, of all. It's actually a bigger fear than death, surprisingly enough. So that is the worst that can happen. And so I remember the first four years, I was like, oh my God, where's my next job coming from? Where is my next, how, can I pay rent this month? That's common in sales and entrepreneurship. When I really thought about what is the worst that could happen, I have my arms, I have my legs. You know, if, if things started really, really going bad, I could always wait tables, I could always bartend. You know, there, there's always things that you can do. And so when you really think about what's the worst thing that can happen and you write it down, it really isn't that bad, 99.99% of the time. So first step is to write down what is the worst thing that could happen. The second step is to stay busy. You've gotta stay busy. Now when I say staying busy, I'm not talking about sitting on the couch, reading, watching the news, or, or going through YouTube and watching the news and watching things that are negative. I'm talking about staying positive. You have to stay positive, right? So when I say staying busy, doing, like for me, doing the things that I love, making videos, speaking, um, working out, you know, there's doing, um, there's so many different things, cooking, nutrition, um, there's so many things that I, rock climbing, there's so many things that I love to do that I can stay busy. You know, obviously I'm gonna be working, um, building my business, but when I'm not doing that, I'm looking for things to stay busy that are positive, that keep me happy. The problem is people look for things that are negative and it's easy to fall into that trap because you're feeling negative, you're worrying, so you want more. You wanna be more negative. You wanna find more things that make you worry, and it's so easy to do that. So when I say stay busy, I'm talking about finding things that you like to do and do them while you're not working. And stay, keep your mind positive. It's a decision to make your, to go from a negative mindset to a positive mindset. It is absolutely a decision. So the third step is there's always something worse. There's always something worse that could be happening, right? So unfortunately, I recently got something called rhabdo from doing an intense training workout that I probably shouldn't have done. I didn't treat it properly. And I actually made another video on that. Um, but I was in the hospital and I remember brushing my teeth and I, I put some mouthwash in, I spit it out. And I looked at the mirror and I said to myself, there's other people that are my age that are on their deathbed. There's people who are having heart attacks. There's people who way worse things are happening. And it immediately made me feel good. 
It immediately made me stop worrying. I was in the hospital. I was in doctor's hands. It's always important to understand that it can always, I mean always, be worse. One thing that I would suggest doing, and I know this sounds crazy, but if, you have, if you're worrying like all day, every day, you, you definitely have a problem. There's, there, there's an issue there. And so one thing that I remember doing, and I know this is gonna sound crazy, but it works, is I would watch something like kind of crazy or kind of brutal every single day. So I would go online and I would look at like people like getting shot in the back of the head and murdered and like crazy things like that and it would make me feel better about my day. Like it's really sad when you see people in these third world countries or in Iraq and all these bad things happening, but if you're worrying, like it's a problem. And so watch people getting their heads cut off every single morning or something like that. It will make you feel better. It'll show you that your situation isn't as bad as others. So I hope this video will help you to overcome worrying because it's one of the biggest things that will hold you back from doing the things that you're meant to do. We're all given goals, we're all given dreams. Worrying, it will hold you back. So this video is about how to stop worrying and start going out and doing the things that you're meant to do and just start living. So if you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up below here on YouTube. Comment below with any stories that you have and any things um, that these, or have these things ever worked for you, or share some other things that you've done that can help some of our audience as well. Feel free to leave any questions and I'll be glad to answer them for you right away. I want you to thank you so much for taking your time to watch this video. Please subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this. You go out and have yourself a great day.